50 vacuum sealing system. And the first thing we're going to do is we got a whole bunch of chicken on sale yesterday. So what we're going to do is freeze it in some of the bags. Uh, we've got in the set that you get includes some ready-made bags. And then it also includes a roll of bag material that you can custom make your own bag. So we're going to use one of the bags that came with it. This is the larger size bag. So now we're going to go ahead and proceed to mm -hmm. show you the, what we do. I'm going to put the date and what's going to be inside it. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a space down there to put that on there. Let me and just, this, right. just show that. There we go. Good. And this is fresh chicken, so it has some juices with it. One of the problems is that the juices can be vacuumed up toward the seal and create a problem for the sealing. So if you have fresh chicken, you need to have a paper towel, a folded up paper towel, to go in the bag between the sealing end and the chicken. So it's we're just going to stick a barrier to absorb any right. moisture that comes out. And when you see it after it's sealed, you'll see some of the moisture was pulled up into the paper towel, but never got up to the top of the right. seal. Now the alternative right. to this is to, to pre-freeze the chicken mm -hmm. and just Put them in a regular baggie or something in the freezer, and then that will that will freeze the moisture and keep it from being pulled out. Right. So let's go ahead and yeah. You don't that. always have time to do that. So, yeah. So fresh chicken is our first choice. If you have fresh meat, you don't have time to freeze it. Mm -hmm. Use the paper towel. Right. Now we're going to move it from the open to uh, open uh, slot and lift up. And this little this little rail right here is the vacuum seal area. You want to put the bag into the vacuum seal area. I'm going yeah, to tuck it in it there. In there. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not very deep. Right. And then we want to make sure there's no real um, uh, wrinkles and wrinkles, creases. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we turn, the machine is plugged in and we pull it all the way to operate. The power light comes on and then we say vacuum seal. <laughs> sealing. And when that red light goes off, it'll be sealed. It's very quick too. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Alrighty, now we open it so we can remove the bag. And you'll see that some of the juices came up into the paper towel. And why you write first is because you don't, yeah, you you're not going to be able to write very, very well with that. It's an excellent seal right at the top. You can immediately try to open it, and it is not going to come open. I'm and that's, pulling. Just to repeat about mm -hmm. the paper towel, that is very important because if you don't do that, you'll see the moisture streaming up across the seal area, and it mm -hmm. will not seal well. Right. It will not seal at all. So, so this is away from the chicken. Perfectly good to be frozen like this for fresh chicken only. And when we come back, we'll show you some frozen chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back, and this time what we're going to do is we took the continuous roll, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is very nice. It has markings on there to help you line up a pair of scissors mm -hmm. when you cut it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've we have already, yeah, we've already two open ends. Mm -hmm. Got two open ends, and uh -huh. we've already written the description on there. So, so at this point, you really have an open-ended bag. Mm -hmm. So we need to seal that uh, end. Mm -hmm. So we just yeah. press it across the sealer. Right, right in front of the vacuum. Yeah. Uh, Make sure step. there are no wrinkles mm -hmm. in no it. No wrinkles. Close. And this to time operate. we press the seal button. And there we go. Great. That quick. Mm -hmm. Open. And we see it has a nice a nice seal right across the bottom. Yeah. Now we have taken the time to do some frozen chicken that yeah. will not have any problem with uh, issues, so no need for a paper towel. Yeah. We froze these overnight, mm -hmm. but you could do it you know, maybe just an hour or two, just enough sure. to freeze the moisture in it so mm -hmm. it's not drained out. And so, at this, this mm -hmm. point, it's really the same process we did before. Right. Now we have our own size bag sealed on one end, and now I'll put the vacuum Put it into the vacuum seal area. Push it down into the little trough. Right. Straighten it out. The, right. Yeah, so that that's it's important. not. No little wrinkles across there. 
And if you don't want to be careful about wrinkles, just hold the ends of the bag as it's sealing, as it's vacuuming sealing, and that'll help keep it from deforming too much. And this time we get the back, back seal button. We want the vacuum and seal. There we go. It's pretty dramatic when it sucks that air out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really a tight seal there. Alrighty. And a nice seal at the top. Very well, very well sealed. I mean, that... we'll put these back in the freezer mm -hmm. and they will last mm -hmm. uh, a lot longer than they would have just putting them in a baggie or yeah. leaving them in the original package. Without freezer burn as the air that was yeah. in there would condense uh, on, the, on the moisture. So, very excellent good. product. Very, well, I think we good. demonstrated how easy mm -hmm. this is and how effective it is uh, in helping you to keep your uh, fresh meats uh, fresh a lot longer and uh, the appearance and texture and taste uh, maintained a lot longer. Mm -hmm. So, that's it from here. Appreciate your watching.